This is my solution to coding that array2 is everywhere. So a value is said to be everywhere if you go through the array and the value that you're looking for, in this case one, exists in every pair of adjacent values. So that's why this first case returned true, because this one is in this first pair of values, right? There's the one. It's also in the second pair of values, and it's in the third pair of values. Yeah, so one is everywhere in this case returned true. In the second case, it returned false, because although two is in the first pair of values and the second pair, it's not in the third pair of values, so it returned false. So all I'm doing, and you can see my solution below here, all I'm doing is, is going through the entire array and checking to see if the value that's getting passed in is at position x in the array or at the next position, at position x plus one. And if it's not, right, if the value that I'm looking for is, is at x or x plus one not, see that little not on the outside, I'm returning false. Right away I'm returning false. Now if that never happens, if I've gone through the entire array and, and I've never I've never, re I've never gotten to a pair that doesn't contain the value, I'm gonna return true at the end. Now, a couple of little minor things here. You'll notice that I'm going through my for loop, not to the very last value in the array, but I'm going to uh, the value less than the length of the array, minus one. So, so x, the last value of x is actually going to be the second to last value in the array. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I'm looking at the, at the value at position x and the value at position x plus one. If I just went up to the last item in the array, I would go out, I would get, I'd get an out of bounds here and I can run that and show, oh no, it's all, well here I can zoom out a little bit. You can see that I've gone out of bounds. All right, so that's why I have to make that minus one. Now, if, if, you, uh, if you want to write an equivalent Boolean expression to this, you, you remember De Morgan's, I could have just said, if the value uh, at position x is not equal to value and the value at position x plus one is not equal to the value, then return false, that's equivalent. And I can run it and you can see, yeah, that works just as well. So give this a little bit of thought. Hopefully it makes sense to you and get to work on those coding bats. All right, thanks for watching.